Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be studying a very important topic for exception handling in Python, which is the try except block. So what is the try block? The try block contains all those lines of code which have a potential of raising an exception. So the, uh, the lines that may lead to an error will be enclosed in a try block. And uh, why do we call it as a try block? Because uh, it, it is preceded by the keyword try. I will be telling you the syntax for the same. But for now, you understand that the lines of code that may lead to the occurrence of an exception, the lines that will throw an exception are enclosed in a try block. And the lines that might handle the exception and that contains the exception handling code are written in the accept block using the keyword accept. Okay, so the try and accept are keywords and each of these keywords is followed by appropriate code. The try block will uh, be the try keyword will be followed by the lines of code that might lead to an exception. And the accept keyword will be followed by a set of code that might lead to the that might be executed when a particular exception occurs. So it is the exception handling code. Now every try block is paired with an accept block. So for every try block, there will be a following accept block which which we have which we do so basically why they exist in pair is because if you are saying that this set of lines which is placed in the try block might lead to an exception then you need to specify how that exception should be handled and this is done in the accept block so uh, every try block is followed by an accept block okay and whenever an exception is thrown inside a try block all the remaining statements within the try block are skipped and directly the flow of control, the, uh, the program control gets transferred to the statements that are written in the accept block. Okay, and that control never comes back to the try block. Okay, so let's understand it with the syntax of the try accept block and an example. So whenever you have to uh, uh, throw an exception you use the try keyword so this entire uh, set of statements might be written inside a function or you can write it directly as well so you have two keywords try and accept so these are the lines of code where you think an exception might occur so you have enclosed these lines of code in a try uh, block so how is it a block there is a keyword try followed by a colon and then the remaining uh, statements inside this block are indented. Okay, so that makes it a Python block, a try block. Now, following this try will be an accept block. So the keyword accept might be followed by uh, the name of the exception. So this is an optional argument. You might uh, only write the keyword accept or you might follow it with a name of the exception and then a colon is necessary then inside this accept block you write the exception handling code the code that will uh, inform the user or the programmer that what has happened how you might handle it and why the program has not executed the statements after uh, the exception was thrown okay so let's see what is an example of a try block so the, uh, uh, in the example, we first write the try keyword, follow it with the uh, colon and then inside we write a set of statements. Okay, so what are these statements? We are basically trying to perform an integer division and one of the exceptions that can be raised here is since we are accepting the numerator and the denominator from the user, so the user might enter the denominator as zero so that is an error that is a zero division error that we learned about in the previous video that i have linked to the right hand side at the top you can study that for what is a zero division error so if the user has entered a numerator but he or she has entered a zero as denominator then the division might not be performed and it might result into a zero division exception and this exception might be thrown in uh, from these particular set of statements that is why we have enclosed these statements in the try block 
Now we want to handle this exception. So we have written an accept keyword followed it with the exception name that we think might occur. So we know that zero division error might occur here. So this is the name of the exception. And inside this, we have written a statement that will be printed if the zero division error occurs. So if the exception is raised, then directly the control will get transferred to this accept block. This print statement will be executed. And then out of the accept block, the print the last print statement will be executed so now let's see what are the possible options that uh, uh, that might happen when this program is executed so one possibility is that the user does not enter a zero denominator so the user enters the numerator as four and the denominator is two okay so this line gets executed this line gets executed and the result is computed successfully which is numerator divided by denominator so 4 divided by 2 will be 2 no error and this statement will also be executed so the result will be printed and the output will be 2 here now since no error has occurred so the accept block will not be executed at all and directly the control of program will get transferred out of the accept block to the next statement which is the end so in the output two statements will be printed first is this print statement because the result was computed successfully and next is this print statement uh, which was executed after uh, because it was present after the accept block outside the accept block okay so these two statements will be printed as the output now this was a case when the uh, no exception has occurred but what will happen when an exception occurs so the user enters a numerator numerator can be zero or non-zero but if the user enters a zero denominator then the exception will be raised in this particular statement because division will not be happening and the try block will raise an exception which is known as a zero division exception. In that case, the following statement that means this particular print statement will not be executed and the control will directly get transferred to the accept block. And since zero division error, this name of the error matches the actual exception that has been thrown from the try block, this particular print statement will be executed. So the output will be zero not allowed as denominator and then after the accept block, the next print statement will also be executed. So we have seen in the video in which we studied about the keyword raise, in that case, when there is no try except block, all the following statements get skipped when an exception occurs. But here, even if the exception is occurring, the exception is getting handled in the except block and the statement following the except block is getting printed. Okay, so what will happen in the case of uh, an exception? The numerator is entered by the user, then the denominator is entered as zero. So what will be the output? The result, this particular statement, the result equal to num by denominator raises an exception and the print statement inside the accept block gets printed and the print statement after the accept block also gets printed. Okay, so the basic purpose of, uh, um, you know, uh, writing a try accept block is to perform a decent, a graceful execution of the program even when an error and exception is raised. Okay. And similarly, uh, it is not necessary that you have to raise a single exception. A single try block can also lead to raising of multiple different kinds of exceptions. And for each exception that you think might occur you can specify an accept block okay so different exceptions will be handled in different accept block 
and you can specify the name of the exception that you think might happen so in this case in the second example this the same code that we had written earlier might also lead to a value error so apart from the zero division error a value error might also occur so when will a value error occur we have studied previously also about the value error so the value error is raised when the uh, the, the the user enters a value that is of the correct data type but the value is incorrect so what happens is so for example um, um so you were expecting you were expecting a positive integer to be entered but the user entered a negative integer so in that case you can raise a value error and you can write here only positive integers allowed i have just written integers but you can more specifically write only positive integers allowed so what i'm trying to explain is that uh, there might be a case when you think a single try block the statements written in the try block might lead to different kinds of exceptions so that but that those cases can also be handled by writing multiple accept blocks and each accept block will specify you in each accept block you need to specify the exception that you are handling in that particular accept block so if in this try block a zero division accept error occurs only the first accept block will be executed and if the value error occurs only the second accept block will be executed okay never will that happen that all the accept blocks will be executed all right so that's all for the try accept block i hope you do not have any doubts in case you have a doubt you can always ref mention to us in the comment section below let us know if you are facing any problems or what next subjects and topics you would like to study on our channel thank you for watching till we meet in the next video Mind your exam.